We're currently at the seamounts by the uh, Twilight Zone. Wanna not cool? the game. I so mean, not the I. movie. <laughs> Ooh. What? I'm hoping that buoy can send a little message to our humpback friends. Ooh. That's right. Andre is going to serenade some humpbacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not me, but using a song I generated from other recordings. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's clean that off and then start looking for sounds. Hmm, that way. Humpback whales. Ooh, that is a bad sound. Sensor alarm. Alright, what's first? Ooh, wait, there's a lot of Dana squid? Wait. Yeah, Dana octopus squid, yeah. These guys are pretty weird and cool. The way they catch their food. You see that little bit of light right there? They use that to attract their uh, prey. They're not per se giant squid, okay. but they're a species of squid. Okay, see if respond to our song. Jordan wants to know how you know. Great question. If we have recorded him before, We'll see if the influence of our song affected his. Scientists believe whales from one region can influence the song of whales from another when they mix. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool to know. Hey Andre, we've recorded a song from this one before, again. right? We have. How quickly can you compare his two songs? Well, I need to wait for his song to complete at least one full cycle. Hmm. How long is that? Twenty minutes, maybe more. Wow. That's a long, slow ballad. Alright, I guess this is the closest one here. 75? Yeah, this one. Alright, up uh, above us is a lot of ocean sunfish, or mala mala, depending on who you speak to. Yeah, and uh, we continue on in our journey into the darkness. Oh, Dana another Dana squid. squid. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're hunting lanternfish. Well called, Arena. We'll make you a sea witch yet. <laughs> Let's scan a few to pick up their hunting behavior. I'm working on it. Whoa, there's one under me. <laughs> they are quite, uh, the... Scott from Denver wants to know if they eat each other. Some do. Yeah. I think this one was upset he missed out on his prey. Hmm. Hopefully they don't make me prey because that's all I need right now. They're pretty awesome. But Dana squid. Ooh, look at that. They use their little tentacles and like like cuttlefish. Okay, okay, that's uncomfortable. Let's uh go see what's going on way over here. Yeah, and I think that's a scalloped hammerhead. Hey buddy, yeah, here's scalloped hammerhead. Mm-hmm. Now this is by far one of the coolest things I've seen before. Um, the ocean is so vast and deep. And look, another scalloped hammerhead. <laughs> you don't know what you'll see out there. I've done so many dives and I've had moments when I've ran into things. And <laughs> I think the worst was uh, taking the final open ocean open ocean dive and. <laughs> Oh, and feasting that. on some moon jellies. That is odd. Oh, moon jellies. Some moon jellies are not harmful to humans, like most jellyfish or sea jellies, depending on who you speak to. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, <laughs> there's actually a river, a lake, or something in. I think it's Palau, and they have a whole bunch of jelly, and they're harmless to people, fully harmless to people. These guys, I mean, don't, you know, they're kind of irritated a little bit. Alright, I'm going to zoom scan the leatherback turtle for a biosample. Come here, buddy. Pretty sure we're going to get it off his back. We can run the sample in the lab, okay, but I'm sure this is a different one. Do they typically travel together? And would it be surprising to find two this far off course? Yes, he is chomping down on that thing. Welcome back, turtles. Hey Enjoy guys. Your beautiful moon jellies. 
How cool is that? They can revert from being full grown to their younger state and Medusa jelly. I think that's what they're called Arena Medusa jelly. Will make us all immortal one day. Let's see what's out there, shall we? Sensor, sensor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Something close by. Another sensor alarm. Hmm. Turn around. Wow. It's amazing. The ocean is just too much. What the hell just happened? First of all, don't mess with my suit when I'm diving. Secondly, mm. you spoiled my surprise. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, small shark. I see you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, we're gonna um we're gonna scan you. Small sharks have developed biofluorescence to communicate with each other. Their eyes have special adaptations for the UV light. Now you can see there we the go. That's what I'm talking about. That's cool. There's one. How many have to do two? Okay, let's find let's find your friends. Let's find your friends. Alright, there's another one around here somewhere. Is that? That's a. That's a. Mmm. That's lunch. <laughs> that's a spider crab. Hey. So I met you. Where's your buddy? I know there's more than one of you around here somewhere. Oh boy, there, there we go. Okay. There's one right there. All right, let's go back over there and let's zoom in on the swell shark. The fact that they glow green is pretty cool. And the white. There you go. Next, you can try the black light I installed in your stop. You did not. You did install it in your dorm room back in the day. <laughs> your wife showed me pictures. <laughs> oh, uni was a good time. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Interesting. How many times do I have to... Oh, I think I'm done, actually. Let me see. Back up. There we go. Yep. Let's just take a dive. Oh, the ocean. A lot of people are actually afraid of the ocean. And I, I get that. I really do. I know it can be scary because of the unknown of what the ocean is. But not everything is going to try and eat you. <laughs> not everything is going to try and... Wait. What's going what on here? For here? Oh, one of our sperm Andre, you really need better glue for these. I don't use glue. <laughs> what do you use? I've tracked down the tag. It's in a cave. I wonder how it got in here. Huh. That's weird. Interesting. Why would a sperm well tag be in here? Ugh, that explains it. Oh, what the? <laughs> Are you okay? Other than getting inked in front of a live global audience? Oh, that doesn't you know, help the situation. Get that off you. It would probably attract predators. Yeah, that would. That's oh, embarrassing. But yeah. Oh, look at that. Man. I wish we could live down here. We've got a shark. We've got an ocean sunfish. I believe that's a mola mola. Yep, that's another one. Now well, let's go find that buoy. And see what's going on. Wow. So beautiful. Okay, Look. last boy of the dive. How are you feeling? Chances of suit holding out until the end of the dive. Good. There's a humpback in front of me. if our humpback song had any effect, well... You know this, but for the viewers, science is not magic. It takes patience. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, they're right next to each other. Okay, it's moving. Hold on, hold on, I gotta pinpoint. There he is, moving. <laughs> that kind of threw me off a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's go find these... Whatever it is. Mm. Looks like a sperm whale, so I'm gonna assume it's a sperm whale. Let's go find the sperm whales, shall we? Sperm whale, I think it's... Yes, it's hunting! First time we'll be able to document it with Andre's technology. Huh. Hmm. Well, the cool thing about sperm come whales on, is that. Come on. And then the buzz. I got it. Yeah, the buzz. That's a click Raj train. From Mumbai wants to know what's the buzz. <laughs> I think he was making a joke. That's so cheesy. Sure, but definitely associated with being close to prey. This is just a warm up. The real fun will come in the deep. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I need a minute. Hold on. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the buzz in a sperm whale or dolphin, or any type of toothed whale in general, they do use it to stun their prey. And where did that thing go? Search for tech. What? Unknown sensor. Great, but the where's the unknown sensor? I just lost it. <laughs> oh no. Are we having one of them days? Alright, you're gonna go to the top. You're gonna come back up. And you give yourself a minute. And then you're gonna settle yourself. Right here. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Mm -mm. Apparently, my uh, sensor is down here. Oh, it's down there. Oh, it's down there. I need light. Oh, cheese and crackers. Where am I going here? All right, it's around here somewhere. Oh, cheese. I'm close. Okay, okay. We are close, okay. So, yeah, so dolphins and sperm whales have, and s most toothed whales, most odontocetes, do have this ability to, uh, oh, there it is, have this ability to stun their prey using their sonar. What is that? Hey, Chimera. Cool. Now, I gotta find out where the hell that thing went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose it again. And it disappeared on me. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> did I miss, like, did I miss something? Because this is ridiculous. Okay, I can see something down here. And it's telling me it's something down here. Well, what is it? I don't see anything. Is it this thing right here? No, that's another chimera. Alright. Bring it out. I'm near it, but I'm not near it, I guess. I'm here. That's great. Where is this thing? <coughs> Zoom scan for bio sample. That's great. Where? Or what? For that matter. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm f close to it, but I'm not close to it. I don't get that. Alright. Okay, am I near it? We should be around here in this area somewhere. Okay. So, sea mount's a little nerve-wracking for me. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's go up. Let's go up. Apparently I must have missed it. <laughs> I turned around because I'm... I lose everything. What am I looking at? What is this? 
Okay. Turn around. Uh. Andre. Oh, look. Andre. Well, there's no way these little ones are thousands of miles off course. Oh, right, baby Andre? turtles. Give him a minute. Right. Let's scan a few of these to get their gender. Alright, let's uh, see what's what here. There's a tiny tag here. Andre? Gotta get closer. Oh, there's so many. Okay, hold on. Gotta 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 zoom to scan these uh baby leatherback turtles. Hold on, come come. Here we go. They are so small. Chen from Shanghai wants to know why you care about their gender. Well, their sex is determined by the temperature of their nests. Warming beaches wiped out the turtles in this region. Believe in a little oh. magic now, Andre? I think they just start, but let me check on that tag first. Interesting. It's amazing. Alright, let's go find our whale friends, shall we? We're being buzzed. Oh, wow. Glad we didn't miss this. Oh. They're coming from a hunt. Yeah, they must have been hunting down past the rift. I think we found our spot for our first deep dive. Mirai, check out that one closest to you. What's that uh. on its skin? I'm not sure I can catch them. They're headed to the surface. Uh. Might just be a scrape from a ship strike. Yeah, let's hope that's all it is. Poor thing. Let's end it here. Um, not me. <laughs> oh no. My brain just went, oh no, we're going deep. Deep sea dives are terrifying and amazing, but scary to me. I guess we're gonna... I know it seems like Andre worries about everything. Can we skip this? Oh. Everyone's seen the pictures, but I can tell you it was really tough to be doing hands-on work when we were losing entire species. Wow. For me, it was the whales. But for Andre, it was the turtles. I Let stayed to help them. Several of the other scientists did as well. Other bats are so only important. Protected nests were the ones producing turtles in the They're region. endangered. We all figured that the population was going to collapse, and eventually it did. Wow. But seeing this large man spend day after day carrying tiny turtles from the nest to the water, it inspired us to stay. When you love something, you're gonna fight tooth and nail for it. Coming back now, it feels like another world. Andre is not an angry man, Arena. He's just a man who gets angry when he sees people say it's too hard, or that they don't care at all. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Mirai. Sorry to miss the post I brief. I've been listening to our humpback recordings for hours and got myself in a kind of fun. Actually, I started listening to the humpbacks and then switched to Miles Davis. <laughs> anyway, I don't see any clear sign that our playback influenced any of the other whales yet, but I just know we're on the right track. Yeah. I'm sorry to be in such a mood. Don't know what to make mm. of those turtles or what's going on with our sperm whale family. Yeah. Right. Catch you in a bit. Mm. Oh, God. Oh god, copyrighted music. Okay, get get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, jeez and crackers. Can we not? Can we not? Ugh. Annoying. Alright. What do we got here? Let's see. We have a book. Coping with loss. <laughs> the Irvisible Pearl. Okay. I know what that is. <laughs> oh, man.
Mississippi tells you bloom distressed whales after it has gone through. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I am not sure I want to do this deep water dive. I have a fear of deep water. <laughs> Day 12. Oh, Spend nice. The last five days on an endless series of death Hello. tests of Andre's deep diving suit. Oh, no. Guess he doesn't want me to implode on the live stream. No. I do hope it's giant squid proof, though. The mapping drone located a brine pool near where Andrea's family has been hunting. That is, before it went AWOL. Ready to die. I mean, dive. Oh, goodness. I am. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Gonna have to swallow my pride here because I do not like diving deep. <laughs> I didn't like diving deep in endless ocean, and I didn't like diving deep here. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Okay. Are you sure I can't talk you into another test dive at this step before we stream? Enough test dives. It's not like I'm doing a spacewalk. Okay. We're gonna talk about suit crush depth again. American football fish. Whew. Starting live stream. Welcome back, ocean friends. Tonight I am deep. Midnight zone. No light from the surface. Deep. Tonight, we're using Andre's lure drone to mimic the Atolla jellyfish to lure large predators like the giant squid. Oh, hell. <laughs> I'm building on years of prior research. Don't forget our mission to the brine pools. Oh, yes. Uh, Arena will fill you in on that later. Hmm. Well, if they're doing the thing about the giant squid, they gotta be doing something with, like, what Edith Witter did. I don't know if you guys know who that is. She's the first person that created something to attract the giant squid. They did it down in the Gulf, and they did it in Japan. And okay, that's Andre, where the first one came. How do I find the Lyra drone? Oh, blinking red lights in the water column. Maybe I should be just red right now. God, this is uncomfortable as all hell. Okay. You don't need to get too close. You can activate the Lyra from there. Okay. Andre, have you done this before? I haven't. Others had. How long until we can expect the Lyra to attract a predator? It's hard to say. It's a big ocean. But if you lose patience, I would find some real oh, wow. jellyfish. I have a feedback Look system set up to improve the lure as you scan them. Of course you do. For those watching, we will be scanning these Atolla jellyfish to make sure oh. Andre's lure matches the real thing. It Look at does, that. But it can always be refined. Not much confidence in humanity, but plenty in himself. Got the jellyfish scans, though Andre doesn't need them. <laughs> in truth, they should improve the lure. I would not waste your time. Getting a few impolite comments on the screen pointing out that giant squid don't feed on Atolla jellyfish. They're they right. don't. Actually, the Atolla puts on this light show when under attack in order to lure creatures big enough to eat their attacker. That's just pretty some cool. useful human applications. I think we need more Atolla scans to improve. Mm. Okay. Whose idea was it to live stream this particular <laughs> dive? I'm glad I can't see the comments. <sighs> my grandmother had the same for times like this. Oh, I'm man. not going to try my grandmother's accent on a live stream, but loosely translated, it means if you get bored waiting for a giant. Holy spin, crap. Oh, no. Go back, go back, go back. That's a pretty specific saying. I am not looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's blinking very fast. Most likely a sign they have detected predators in the region of threaten. Oh boy. Uh. And cue the gi giant squid. The Architeuthis ducks. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> give me a chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was that was fun and interesting, and I hope I don't run into it again. <laughs> I know how oh. much you enjoyed that, but do you mind if we check out the bride? Oh, before God, we check God, out God, our God, whale God. Can we change the score downward, please? I don't want to run into it. <laughs> okay, it's your giant squid. Is that another one of your grandmother's saying? Can I stay down? No. Oh, <laughs> Hurry up okay. and collect my specimens for me. Oh no. An expressive one. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's no giant squid, but I promise you, you won't have to wait to find it. <sighs> Freaking hell. <laughs> I don't want to do this. 
Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, we're not. <sighs> At long last, welcome to the brine pool. I know it's really a salt lake under the ocean, but it looks more Come like here. a witch's Come here. brew. Come here. Where are you going? I have been teasing Come Arena, here. but a brine pool is a diverse micro environment wow. in the ocean. It it's has amazing. its own ecosystem. And each one is unique. Wow. So that means the microbiology is unique and could hold groundbreaking solutions to human problems. That's cool. Each time I take new samples into a lab here in this ship, it's this magical discovery moment where I tinkle all over. I found my own research so I can pursue what I know to be important. And people ask me, how much money are you going to spend to collect some bacteria in the bottom of the ocean? If these bacteria hold the cure for a disease that relieves even just a small amount of human suffering, I agree. How do you put a price on that? No, I agree on that. That is some giant squid. <laughs> I haven't ran into the other... I, I, unless I did not pay attention, <laughs> I haven't seen them. And I don't want to see them. I'll see them a little later. <laughs> giant squid are beautiful, and I don't need a jump scare. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. Am I missing one here? Hold on, go go upward for a sec. I want to make sure I got everything. Mm -hmm. I go down. All right, let me see if I passed it or didn't pass it. Okay. No oh, cheese and crackers. Where is it? It's in the area. It's it's around here somewhere. Scan hagfish. Wait, there's hagfish? Oh, that's gotta be one of them. Yeah, there's one. Oh, wait, one just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, hell, come on. <laughs> Disappeared on me. You coming back? Oh, no, I got your friend there. Alright. Oh, I missed one. Okay. I am not good at finding things. <laughs> this is one of those games. It's like, oh, okay, sure. Yeah, uh, I got this. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Do we really have to go through this again? Yes, I do. Hold on, hold on. Well. So, if you guys know about the brine pool. Uh, it's very, very dense thing of salt. It's like a underwater lake that is in the ocean. And it's really weird. They did find that under this dense lake. Oh, there it is. There is, um, uh, nobody n understands why hagfish can survive through it. But any other fish or creature that gets into it can act, will actually just, they don't do great. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Oh, no. Uh, give me strength. Bri, what? Your waypoint. Sperm whales are back on the hunt. Okay, we're gonna find sperm whales, shall we? The drones, they will seek out the sound of the sperm whales and then idle nearby. We okay. hope that today Andrea's tech will make it possible to document how a sperm whale mm. hunts the giant squid. We gotta find the sperm whale first. <laughs> I gotta move a little faster, come on. Yeah. Alright, alright, so we've got um Let's find our whale. Ooh. Ooh. It's consistently moving because it's obviously a live animal. There's another one. Holy crap. Okay, that was the drone. <laughs> I completely forgot about the drone. Drop on their hunting. One of our viewers wants to know if there is a problem with the link since the waypoints right. keep appearing and disappearing. No problem. The drones are in stealth. Alright, here we go. So they will only track the whales by sound. I better We're almost do a giant squid hunt. Enable tag. Whoa, hi. Alright, there's a tag. We'll keep good watch over you. Hi, buddy. Alright, let's go find your friend. Come on. 
Whoa! Alright, just keep a straight line. <laughs> uh, Alright, buddy, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're down here. Okay, keep clicking for me on. That one. There we go. Oh, you can hear it. And then there's this click train, which is the buzz. Oof. Oh, there we go. Whoa! That was cool. What just happened? <laughs> I think the squid knocked the camera right off. Oh, oopsies. I had that camera feed in full screen on my visor, and for a second I thought it was lights out for me. Oh. Sounds like a good time for the sub to pick you up. Yes, please. I would like to get out of the darkness before I run into something very large, other than the whale. I think we're actually going to finish this stream. Uh, I mean, finish the game on stream. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh god. Just, just run. Just, just, you know, super speed over here. Press the X button. Turn off that stupid music. Hey, developers, if you watched us, can you just, like, you know, allow us to not, like, deal with this? Because this is ridiculous, especially those who work on, you, you know, work, do live streams and stuff. You don't want to get a copyright strike and stuff. Oh, look, there's some jellies. And it's Irina. Since there's no dive today, I'm going to lose my cool. in the wet lab to work on those samples you sent up from the prime pool. Yep. Yeah. Andre? Mirai, remember the tag we found on the turtles? I put it out on the network, and I got the strangest message back. I'm going to take a tender to a small island nearby and check it out. I'll explain everything later. Still no mapping drone, by the way. Oh, yay. <laughs> and her sister? Hey, it's me. Nana didn't qualify for the study. Hmm. The doctor says we missed the window. Whatever that means. That sucks. Hard to tell what she remembers now. It's tough. I'm not sure my head's 100% there with school. Seems like a waste yeah. Time. Anyway, see you. Oh, when you deal with a parent or a grandparent that has dementia, it's, it's hard. Uh, my mom has started hallucinating, so that's just how it is sometimes. And it's rather unfortunate, but that's how it is. You know? Mm. You just gotta deal with it as it comes. Hey, look, Edith Witter. I was just talking about her. <laughs> oh. Let's go for that dive, shall we? Day 13. <laughs> We're in the vents region without a map because of the lost drone. Diving yeah. blind, but I know these vents are important to Arena. We tracked a tag from our whale family here. I'm hoping it just fell off, as this would be an unusual place for a whale to be. Mm. Andre has the dive suit in safe mode, so I'll have restricted range. Head south to find the clearing for the sub pickup. Check. Ready to dive. Alright, guys. Here we go. I'm in and okay. Remember, no boys and no waypoints. I put a simple version of the mapping system on your Manta drone. Now, we won't get your feed live, so... Hey, Steeper Shark. I really wish we hadn't lost that mapping drone. Relax. You know I've got this. I think I'm gonna follow up this the Steeper Shark. Roger that. No chit chat. Singing's okay though, right? Mm -hmm. Arena, how will I know the difference again between a dormant vent and a live vent? That one's in an active. 400 degree water streaming up, so that's one way. Check. Wide berth in the live hydrothermal vents. Sorry. Mm. I thought my mic was muted. This is a dormant field. No life events. Okay, great. But this is a uh, sleeper shark. Another one. Pacific sleeper sharks are very large. They can be about 20, 20 to 26 feet, if I remember correctly. So that are the, the, the seven gills. I know one of them gets about... Oh, there's a lot of these. 
Um, they can get about 20, 26 feet. Just as large as a great white shark. Um, but they're very, very in-depth. Cheese and crackers, come on. Alright, alright. It's very freaky out here because we have no map. Alright, follow the shark. I feel comfortable <laughs> following a very large fish that knows its way around compared to being anywhere else. Because there's no map. Alright, we're gonna um, look around. We're gonna see what we can see. Here's another sleeper shark. Whew. This is scary. There's something so beautiful and terrifying about the ocean. About what's out there, we don't know. We've only studied so much of it, you know? Like what, 5%? 10% of the ocean? Compared to what? What's out there? And we know so much more about space than we do the ocean. And I think, okay, those are lantern fish. I think I'm gonna make a right and see where we go with this one. Alright, yep, there's something else out there. Mm, another sleeper? Nope, these are just fish fish. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, it's, it's, we don't know so much about these oceans of what the... Okay. <laughs> I'm a little anxious, so you gotta bear with me here. I don't like the deep. Oh, hi. Whoa, hi. Where are you going? So I'm going the right way if the sleepers are coming through this way. Um, let's see. Another one? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, crackers. Okay, okay, buddy. Thank you. Alright, we went this way. I guess, I guess we... We follow them. This is nerve-wracking. For me, anyway. Another one? That's a hundred. No? Okay. I guess we're following sleep sharks. So, um, yeah. I We don't know too much about the ocean. For all we know, we have seen colossal squid. Very rare, but we've seen one or two alive at the surface. Um, we've seen giant squid. I think we've seen two or three alive. Um, not as large as you think, but we have seen them. And then there are, of course, right, hold on, hydrothermic fat, we're just paying through here now. I wish I knew where I was going. Okay, we're gonna settle ourselves here, hold on. And up, 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 up. come up. Okay. <sighs> okay, no, that made me even more uncomfortable. Find a sleeper shark and you, there we go, we'll find a sleeper shark and we'll find everything else. There we go. <laughs> Alright, which way are you going, buddy? Alright, this way? Okay, we'll go this way. Okay, those are fishies. Um. Mm. We've gone this way. And the sleeper shark is going this way. So I'm gonna assume it's this way. What's weirding me out is that haunting call, which could be from a species of whale, or anything else Neither in between. Neither of you are gonna believe this. I think I found the mapping drone. Really? No way. Can you scan it to make sure? Working on it. Okay. Scan yep. confirms. If the drone could make it all the way here, why would it die while it was mapping? <laughs> really wish I knew. Hmm. Maybe at some point we can borrow equipment to do a proper salvage. Okay, this dive just keeps getting stranger. How hot did you say that water Oof. typically is in a live vent? Is that a joke? No joke. Mm -hmm. Down one drone, but discovered an unmapped vent system. Okay. Mary, this is great. I truly believe that these systems are... The hey, a seven-armed octopus. Thank you so much for doing the dive under these conditions. I know we're giving me the silent treatment, but I think I just discovered a new species of octopus. <laughs> Sorry, didn't copy that. Actually, <laughs> that might be the answer. 
What? To why the drone died. Mm, we were talking about the origins of life. My mind mm. will stop if it can't fit all the pieces together. <laughs> the mapping drone may have cruised too close Interesting. to the Interesting. It's got more delicate equipment on its other side that are not rated for anything close to that temperature. Mm. You sound almost pleased. Whoa. Well, it's better to know the flaws so you can fix them. Arena, did you expect volcanic activity here? Describe, please. Red, glowing, need more? A very wide berth, like maybe from your son. Mm. Weird. Oh wow, the ocean is just so it's so scary. <laughs> it's beautiful but so scary. Ooh. I'm 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 Are I'm you doing okay. Me? Describe oh. it, please. I can't Whoa. at it together when I'm done with the dive. This is ridiculous. What? Whoa. Ah, welcome to New York. <laughs> I'm just... Oh my god, so much stuff. What is this? Uh, Saber shark over there. There's more stuff over here. Where are you guys going? This way. What is this? Fishies? Whale fall. Where are y'all going? What is going on over here? Oh no! What happened to you? Oh. Are you sick? Well. Oh. Holy crap, that is a lot of spider crabs. And a hagfish. What happened? Okay. Just getting a few last scans. There's a fluke right there. die they either float to the surface or they sink to the bottom depending and uh, this one I guess just passed away it's so sad when you've lost and lose an animal that you've studied for so long you know it's so sad I don't know I personally feel that uh, things like this is just this is something that's going to happen. It's common sense, but life and death and nature and all. But when you've learn when you've been around these animals and you study them and everything, it, it just breaks your heart because you see mothers and grandmothers and holy cheese and crackers again with the loud music. Ugh. Can we not? Can we not? Can we please cheese and crackers? <sighs> Excuse me. That's a little frustrating. All right. That's yeah, pretty weird and cool. We watched the video log from the dive. Truly heartsick. I'm furious. Where should we start? Um, mining. The destroyed vent. I couldn't believe how badly the seabed was chewed up. Wow. Vents that might have had a fossil record dating back over a billion years. A microbial life that doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet. Who knows what cures would have lost? Your drones a fallen hero, Andre. I think it spooked the miners before they did more damage. Because they happened to be mining where we sent the drone to map. Wow. Anywhere else, they might still be active. Who gets the satisfaction of turning them on? We were debating that before you came along. Um, how about all of us? We should jointly report. It'll be stronger. Agreed. Agreed. Now tell us about the whale fall. <laughs> Could you ID the whale? My microphone the whale just fall fell. was definitely from the baby's family. The tail fluke was intact enough to scan it. But you're sure it wasn't the mother? It wasn't the mother. 
The ID matched another yeah. whale we know from her family. Maybe grandmother or aunt or something of the sort. But it was an older whale, so more vulnerable. Do you think there's any connection to the miners? They did plenty of damage, but I don't think the whale fall is on them. I can pull out anything from the scan yeah. that might be worth investigating. Already have. Right. Alright, I guess we're doing another dive? Yes, we are doing another dive. Collect bio samples from Andrea's family. Alright. Here we go. Let's see quickly, really quickly, what we got. As a one, two, three, four, five. I have a feeling one of these is a giant squid. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty sure. Sleeper shark, whale shark. Remora. Orca. Or killer whale, dolphin, sperm whales. Wow, okay. So, what's this? Come on, controls, work with me. Oh, dive samples and stuff. Okay, cool. Very interesting. Let's uh, take the dive, shall we? Day 14. Arena's analysis of the whale fall shows evidence of toxins from a harmful algal bloom. We have to find Andrea and her family and get bio samples. On a positive note, Andrea's side trip was a success. He found an amazing group of teens who have been nurturing the turtle population back to health. That's cool. I'm running out of dive time. And especially if I go home early. Ready to dive. All right, here we go. I'm in and okay. This area looks so different at night. Mm-hmm. I still love diving in the moonlight. The pod was active in this area as recently as an hour ago. When was the last tracking data for the baby or its mother? Days ago. But they could oh. be with the pod right now and just not making any noise. It's a possibility. Our pods tend to stay close, but... I mean, they will give each other space, but... They will still be around each other keep through communication. So, hey, look, manta ray. Let's, uh, let's go check on our whales, shall we? All right. Hold on. There you go, first waypoint. They okay. load automatically from here on in. I have the Explorer drones patrolling to get as many eyes and ears looking for the pod as possible. Do I need the buoys? No. The hydrophones on the drones. They don't have the range or fidelity of the boys, but um. we need speed. Thanks. Mariah, you know that no chatter rule was just for the vent area, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? I think it's bleeding out that you seem distracted. Sorry. Mm. I'm back. Talk to me about something positive, Andrea. Were you able to make contact with the teenagers you were talking about? Butterfly fish. I've been helping the Leatherback turtle population be bound here in the region. They That's good. Sounds like you've inspired some citizen scientists, Andre. That's cool. Let's uh, get a sample, shall we? Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Up, 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 up. There we go. One. And there's more on the opposite side. Here we go. Let's go find our whales, shall we? Something's closer though. Right here. Nope, nope. Nope, not there. There. God, man. It's so beautiful. And the atoll is a safer place, but I mean everything is dangerous no matter where you go it's just a matter of not getting eaten attacked or you know poisoned oh whale shark hi what you doing buddy you are another one i have one. the lab ready to start work on the samples when you're done with it's a healthy How whale shark we can do initial screens quickly to narrow 
Um, have you decided is that Orca? another dive back at the brand pool? With everything going on, I really hadn't had the chance to look at the schedule. Hey, honey, come back here. Right. Come back here. Let's see. Let's get a little sample from you, see how everything is working out. Oh, God, that whale doesn't look that great. Oh, here we go. Half of me wanted to be a marine biologist for a very long time. Then I took my studies in cetacean, bi cetacean biology. And then animal care, animal welfare and care. Because I wanted to work with these animals to learn more of them. And then shift my study into wild animals. But after my lung collapsed, everything changed. And I had to find something different. Because I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And I mean, that's okay. These things happen. It's not a much. Any dolphins in the dive objectives? I added them because of mm. their role in the disease that hit the dolphin population a few years back. All right, buddy. Hold on. Done. Andre, have you picked up any tags from our pod? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna widen the radius for these spore drones. Mm. Let's see. I think our whales are over here. <laughs> Might be a humpback for all we know. Wow. I don't know. I've, I've done the night dive thing. I don't find it so fast. It's beautiful, but it's not something that's ideal in the sense of what it is. Because in the darkness, you're more vulnerable. And you cannot see what is coming out of where. And this is one of them. This is where everything just scares the hell out of me. Oh wait, we're near the waypoint and can hear a humpback singing, but I don't see it. I think I'm losing it. <laughs> it's gotta be close. I feel like it's singing right in my ear. Try a scan visor. That's totally weird. I see a scan dot, but nothing's there. Mm. I think the humpback is invisible. <laughs> Sorry. I'm afraid I'm the invisible whale. I'm mm. definitely losing mm -hmm. it. I thought you just said you're an invisible whale. <laughs> the humpback song I generated. Oh. You're at a playback station. It's pretty small. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty really. At least enough to convince your drone. Well, that's something. Mirai, have you heard back from Ren yet? Mm. Is Ren okay? Mirai, are you there? I'm not sure. Pardon? Pardon? I meant about Ren. I don't know. We had a fight right before I left the zone. Uh -huh. Do you want to call her now? I can patch you through. Seriously? None of yeah. our friends well, are here. I have here. to watch your video feed for safety, but I can mute your audio track for privacy. Wow, I've never talked to her while I was diving. And healthy? It's mm, good. No, I'll wait for the sub. Okay, Mariah, you're on. The drone on the out of patrol just picked up several sperm whales mm. and visual. Thanks. No sound alerts at all. They're being awfully quiet. Hmm, I must be sleeping. Whales don't communicate when they're sleeping, but they always stay in close proximity of each other. Whether they're touching or... There's a whale shark. Or <laughs> they're touching b or just near each other, as you can see. Can you the pod? Yes. That is them. I don't see the baby, but it's a little dark. Why are they moving? They're sleeping. I had no idea. They're oh boy. Oh boy. She's in cargo. Okay. Okay, another one right here. Wow. It's amazing. Wait, I'm, am I missing? I'm missing one. I see it. I think these animals, as big as they are, you know, are so vulnerable to so much. Is it on the opposite side? Yep, there it is. Okay, hold on, let's left and down. Holy crap, I'm inside the whale. <laughs> Oopsies. There we go. Low level toxin. Wow. That's not good. Not at all. Wow. 
Look at them all. Nope, they're going back. <laughs> I don't know, I'm wondering what's going on with Andrea and her mom. Frickin' hell. <laughs> uh, hello, can we not with this? Can we not with this? <laughs> All the music. Call Ren. Hello. Is now a good time? Mm -hmm. You sound tired. Yeah, I'm a zombie. I'm trouble sleeping. Hmm. Did you say school wasn't working out? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Listen, I'm exhausted. I'll catch you later, okay? Ren, please don't hear me. Ren? Hmm. Uh. All right. I think I have a location for the mother and baby. Uh -oh. They were spotted just outside the research zone by those teenagers I was telling you about. Oh. Now, I don't have much data, but the report doesn't sound positive. Uh -oh. I'll let Irina know as well. Oh, boy. Hello, Mirai. It's me. I don't see a sample from either the baby or the mother. Andre said you were going back out to look for them. I know you are still deciding, but I told him you're thinking about leaving the expedition early. As soon as I have results, I'll let you know. <sighs> Sorry, I'm quiet. It's just... I have a bad feeling. And I don't like... <laughs> I hope they're okay. We've only been on a three-hour journey with them, but still... Area where Andrea and her mother were last spotted. So checked and re checked. Oh. You can't risk any exposure in case the wound hasn't completely resolved. Hard to swim after absorbing the raw toxin. <laughs> Seriously. Diving now. Algae bloom is very, very terrifying and sad. Uh, the red tide, as they would call it, it kills dolphins, whales, fish. Right. Are you sure you want to do this dive? I'm okay. Tonight we're recording from the open ocean in the western pacific. For those of you who are returning, we're trying to get an updated mm. status on the mother and baby sperm whale that we've been following on our stream. Mm. We're recording tonight's stream because we have reports that the mother whale is distressed. Maybe and we don't want to surprise happened. viewers if these reports are true. We discovered a whale form in our research zone. So we yeah. suspected that the whales may have been exposed to a toxic pathogen and are currently investigating samples from several females in the positive for a toxin that we believe resulted from That's exposure horrible. to a harmful alcohol bloom near the coastal area no, just back outside to the babies. of the research zone. There's so many of them. Beautiful, tiny little guys. Little tiny hopes for the future, as they say. Oh, God. As someone who's worked with animals and you worry about them, and even though this is like it's a game, it's just that you you find emotion because of what she's studying these animals and learning about them and following their lives for the rest of their lives. So you kind of get involved, and I As really I hope she's wheels, okay. I'm gonna turn off my mic, but keep on my video feed. <gasps> oh. Mama's gone. Poor baby. That's horrible. The whales that we tested have shown low level of this toxin. So I hope we do she's not okay. believe they will suffer from long term effects. However, 
We expect that the mother whale was exposed to a higher level. It was also more vulnerable because of her pregnancy. She's okay. What's going on? <clears throat> Orcas. Yep, that's what they are. Wow, that is that is intimidating at night, isn't it? those orcas sure look like they are threatening the baby The pod'll be there, I'm sure of it. That's a that's a scan, Mom. It's so sad. I'm sorry. I'm a little emotional when you. <laughs> oh my God. And he was an animal, and she lost her mother. I mean, her pot will help, you know. That's why they're so close-knit. Stay close to your altars. They know the way. Hmm. <laughs> Grandmothers, aunts, nieces, mothers, they all stay together. As far as we know, those were the only two whales affected by the flu. A seventeen. A twelve. With all of Andre's technology genius, he still hasn't invented a way to be in two places at the same time. <laughs> Before my flight home landed, Arena and Andre had already confirmed the location of the harmful flu. <sighs> I stayed close to home with Nana until she passed the next year. Wow. Ren moved in with me to save money while she finished school, which was great. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> it was Ren's idea to keep the live stream going remotely using one of Andre's drones. But it was my fabulous idea to have Ren join the stream to choose the questions from the audience. That's cool. She is definitely a hit. <laughs> Two years later in the Western Pacific. It's great to be diving again. Mm. While I was away, the baby became an auntie. Aww. Look at her. <laughs> I think she likes it. Mm-hmm. She still buzzes me when I play my coda sounds. Mm. So that is still a mystery. Well, that's kind of a happy but ending. I swear. We understand each other completely. <laughs> when you've worked with whales and dolphins, you feel that way all the time. Whether it's a wild or in human care, you feel like they can understand you and you can see them. And <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, this is the end. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my live stream, and thank you for watching and joining me. It was fun, and I'm, I love this game, as scary as it was at some points. But thank you again for watching, and being a part of it. And I hope you guys will join me again soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.